lovelies how are you all um today i am going to do part two of my mold making video and um i've got my silicon here um it is uh what's it called super elastic platinum silicon rubber don't know what make it is I'm trying to find bb D I N O. I'll read the small writing. Let's have a look. Shen Shenzhen Sipoli Sun Technology Co. Dot Limited. So it's um a Chinese make, I guess. Um, but it's uh, one to one, one part A to one part B, and then mix in and then pour over um, my item. So I'm going to do a mould of this. I've sprayed it with a, uh, a spray fixing seal. Um, I've given it a good two coats so that um i don't know if the silicon would soak up into the wood or not i've no idea so because i've never done this before <laughs> it's my first time so i pop that in there and make sure it's not touching the sides because i need need to have gaps down the sides so that it will um come out one thing i have forgotten to do if you remember in the first part um let me take you down a bit so you can see what i'm doing can you see this guys right so um i am taking off the um top bit to the oh no i'm not i'm taking it all off um <laughs> This is the double sided tape that I put on here. And here's me thinking that it was um, stuck. I'll have to stick it back down again because this helps stop the um, silicon from coming out the sides right let's see if we can oh that's not sticking very well i may have to redo the double-sided tape because i did this a few days ago yeah it's not sticking to yeah i'm gonna have to redo this Okay. Uh, I'll just go find my tape guys and I'll be back. Okay, so what I've done is instead of using the really thin tape that came with this kit, I've used ordinary um, double sided tape that I bought at Christmas time to wrap my presents, but it stuck it down quite well. And what I've also done is I popped a piece on the um, wooden uh, plaque that I, I'm going to do the um, mould of. So it's all stuck down. This won't move because I've also stuck that. Now I need to measure out part A to part B. Um, so here we go. So this is part A. I'll just bring you up a minute, guys, so you can see a bit better. So I'll just pour this into here first. I'm using what I've got left in here because. Um, 
I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to need. So that is eight ounces. And it's still dribbling out a bit. This might take a while. <laughs> My cat's trying to get in on the in on it all. Right, I'm gonna leave that there with the, what's left inside. So another eight ounces would take that up to sixteen. So so pour part B in. So this is going to be kind of a bluey green colour mould. Right. I think that's right. Let's give it a stir. I'm hoping I've got enough here. So I'll give this a good stir, making sure I get round the edges and scrape round and mix it all in together. making sure it is mixed correctly I'm not sure how long you're supposed to mix this let's have a look here so it's jade green color the mix ratio is one part a to one part b by volume low viscosity self degassing so it gets rid of its own bubbles um pot life is about 30 minutes so once you've poured it and mixed it it will take 30 minutes to start um going hard to start curing uh demold time three to five hours so there we go it doesn't give me a time for stirring but i think that looks pretty much mixed up The audio didn't record on this part um, my fault I forgot to turn my microphone on um, here I'm just um, about to take clips off so that I can demold this um, demold this it, it is cured it's been about four hours now um, I'm just pulling sides off here they qu they're quite hard to pull off they're quite stuck um, and you have to kind of get it going and then give it a bigger pull. Um, just taking the rest of the clips off. It has set quite well. Um, I did have a little bit of leakage um, underneath, which I'm just showing you here. Um, along this front side <clears throat> um that's probably because the tape didn't stick very well um but it comes off quite easily it's, it's quite sticky still but um yeah see there you can see the shape of the um the pentagram um we'll get to that in a minute 
after I've taken all these off. Nearly there. And the last one. There we go. All right. The sheet it's um, on, it's stuck down a little bit, but it peels away quite easily. Um, I've just realised here that we had seepage underneath the um, the item that I um, put in there, my pentagram plaque. Um, and also, um, if you look closely when I, I pop it down in a minute, um, the pentagram plaque that I put in there, I think that the silicon got in underneath one side more than it did the other side and it's created um i mean it's it's made it um kind of un not level so one side is higher than the other um i'm just using a ceramic knife here a ceramic kitchen knife just to cut away the extra bit that's underneath the plaque um, I'm just cutting it away from from the edge there. It is stuck to the bottom of the um, the plaque here, so I'm trying I'm trying not to actually cut the edge of the mold. I'm just trying to make sure I just cut the top piece, the piece that's leaked underneath away. <coughs> Excuse me. It is stuck quite well. I think I was just talking about how thick it was down this side. So when I come to do my resin um, pentagram, it's going to be a little bit higher up one side unless I um, kind of level it out. You can see my little dog there next to me. <laughs> she likes curling up and just sitting and watching what I'm doing. <laughs> Her name's Gracie. So we're getting there with the silicon. It takes the time because we don't want to mess it up at all. It is quite stuck to the bottom. I have to prise it up with the knife and, and by pulling it as well. So we're nearly at the, the stage of demoulding. Just one, one or two last bits here. There we go. There is a couple of little tiny bits around that might need trimming off after I've demolded, but I have to. It's it's quite difficult to demold this is because it's quite stuck to the wood, so I'm just going around and loosening up all the sides first before I get around to the front. Um, I mean the bottom and I'm moulding that piece. So I'm going to have to pull each section out bit by bit because um, it proves a little bit difficult. Um, because of the grain of the wood, I think the um, silicon has actually stuck kind of in each grain. Um, regardless of the fact I put the um the sealant on it. If it has, if it had been painted, um I think it probably would have took the paint off to be honest. <laughs> but you can see here that I'm I'm having to pull it out quite hard. It is quite quite difficult to get it all out.
we are getting there though i'm going round each bit and just pulling as i go it will come away eventually i think here i've just got one more bit to pull there we go and there it is guys um you can just see it when the light shines on it um it's quite quite defined quite deep as well um it i'm just going to put the camera down so you can see it a bit better there we go yeah so apart from it being a bit wonky um the the lines are quite deep and very well defined the actual mold itself is um quite soft um and as you can see the what i said earlier about the edges they're quite thin because the um the plaque only just fit into the um the white surround bit but they should hold up when i put the resin in that shouldn't be a problem um I mean, it's quite quite a nice, quite nice mould, quite nice silicon that I've used. Um, it has shown up kind of the wood grain and that, which will come out um, when I do it with the resin. The silicon's quite, um, quite soft and flimsy. Well, not soft and flimsy, it's bendy, that's what I meant to say. So when I do the... Um, the resin in it, it should be quite easy to demold i shouldn't have a problem with demolding it also the mold will come out matte and not shiny so there we go guys um well this is part two obviously go back and watch part one and um enjoy that if i can i'll try and put a link um at the end of this video um take care of yourselves and have a good morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are um i know the talking on the video doesn't match uh what i'm saying and i apologize for that again but um take care everybody and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel bye bye